Hello, James. Where's Daddy? I think he's changing for dinner. I'm about to assist the Honourable Edward. Well, that lovely fruit. You've done it beautifully. Just like Mummy used to do. Thank you, Miss Poppy. You do all the flowers in the house too, don't you? I do my best. I suppose I ought to, really. I'm a bit of a duffer at that sort of thing, and you're terribly artistic. <laughs> Yet you're so masculine. <laughs> <laughs> so different from the wet crowd of chaps I go around with. Mr. Jerry seems to be a very amusing gentleman. Oh, yes. He's all right at parties and playing the giddy goat. But when it comes to spooning, he's a washout. Do you spoon, James? <laughs> <laughs> it's time I was dressing Mr. Teddy for dinner. Oh, let him wait. I never get a chance to talk to you alone. Well, I have my duties to perform, miss. I'll tell you what. I hope you don't think I'm terribly forward. But why don't we have a sort of dormitory feast downstairs in the kitchen when they've all gone to bed? We could talk for hours. No, miss, I couldn't do that. Oh, I see. Perhaps you don't like me. Like you? Of course I like you. I've known you ever since you were a schoolgirl. I'd do anything for you, Miss Poppy. Anything. Well, meet me in the kitchen at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, some of the grapes are missing. James, how romantic. Candles. Well, I didn't want to use the electric light in case it drew attention to our presence. Oh? What do you think's going to happen? Are we going to be naughty? <laughs> You're blushing again. I love it when you blush. <laughs> Get some glasses. Yes, miss. I hid this during dinner. I knew you wouldn't help yourself to Daddy's cellar. Well, of course not, miss. Shall <laughs> I pour? No. You're always pouring. I'll do it this time. How about that? Perfect. Do you like being a servant, James? Well, I regard it as a great privilege. How else would anyone from my station in life be surrounded by beautiful things? Oh? Do you think I'm beautiful? <laughs> Not what I meant, but... Yes. Very beautiful, Miss Poppy. Thank you, James. And I think you're a very handsome man. Here's to us. To two beautiful people. <coughs> Sit down, James. I think your girlfriend's very lucky. I, I don't have a girlfriend. Surely. Why not? Well, to be honest, I don't find domestic servants to my liking. Perhaps I have ideas above my station. Really? Have you fallen for one of my friends? No, miss. Perhaps it's one of Sissy's friends. Would it be in order for me to have a little more wine? Of course. dribbled some. When you pour it, you never dribble. <laughs> How do you do it? Well, you give the bottle a little twist. Show me. <clears throat> like that. Oh, you've dribbled some. Your hand's trembling. Of course it's trembling. I can't believe this is happening. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. I know. Isn't it fun? <laughs> oh, Miss Poppy. <laughs> James, what are you doing? Let go at once. I'm 
sorry, Miss Poppy, I don't know what came over me. I lost control of myself. I should think you did. I only came down here for a glass of wine and a little chat. <laughs> Thought it would be fun. Might even have let you give me a good night peck on the cheek. But to start grabbing at me like some great rough cool lever. How can I apologise, Miss Poppy? I have a good mind to tell Daddy about this. No. Please don't do that, Miss Poppy. Well, perhaps not. I'll, th I'll think about it. But remember your place in future. Miss yes, Miss. Why shouldn't I drink their wine? I was thinking of handing him my notice, but if I did that, I'd never see her again. Take my advice, Jim. There's a green beige door at the top of those stairs. Don't lose your heart to any one of them on the other side of it. You'll always end up making a fool of yourself. Now shove some more brandy and you drown it with the lemonade. Oh, come out of it. Give it. Oh, more punch. Good air. Miss Miss Poppy. <clears throat> You've not been near me all day. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Poppy. After what happened last night, I couldn't even look at you. Oh, don't be so silly. I'd forgotten all about it till I saw your long face. Cheer up and have a drink. You can't, can you? Expect we'll have one later. <laughs> Sorry, not another glass. Maybe that's a bit squiffy. I can take it. Yeah. <laughs>